Don't give me that look. It's Sunday. You're lucky I'm dressing out of my apartment before noon. You're supposed to be here by 10. You're over an hour late. Uh, I feel better. What's up, Buttercup? I need you to talk me down, man. Uh, your beard looks shitty? No, that's talking down to me. What did you want? I need you to talk me down, like, like off a ledge, man. I, I think I'm depressed. Oh, 11-11. Make a wish. I wish I wasn't depressed. Hey, your friend finally showed up. I was beginning to think you were lying about having friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey guys, my name is Alexi. I'll be taking care of you today. Your friend already got started with a mimosa. Our special today is bottomless mimosas for $23. Do you want one too? Uh, I'll just grab a water. Okay. The whole reason we came here is for the mimosas. I changed my mind. Do you guys want to order food too? Are you ready? Yeah. I'm so hungry I could fuck a horse. Or how does, what is that, how does that saying go? I'm ready to order. Okay, go for it. Um, can I get the uh, cinnamon roll? And can I get that with no icing, please? Yeah, sure, I can make that happen. You're kidding, right? Tell him no. It's literally just bread with cinnamon on it. The icing is the whole point of a cinnamon roll. Okay, well, I don't want all that sugar right now. You order what you want, I order what I want. Damn. All right, I will have the grilled cheese. And I will do that with no cheese. <laughs> Okay. Jesus Christ. Oh, is that weird? That's completely different. How? How? The cheese is the main ingredient in a grilled cheese. It's literally in the title. I'm sorry, Alexa. Uh, it's Alexi, and you're totally fine. You guys are, uh, <laughs> you're entertaining. Um, is that really what you want to eat, though? Yep. I guess so. All right, I'll be back with another mimosa and a wine. Why didn't you get a mimosa? They're 23 bucks. Daddy's a baller on a budget. And besides, they're bottomless. I'll just strategically sip from yours. So I have to pay $23. You ordered first. Bruh. What's up with you and Monica? Mmm. Not really feeling it anymore. I'm probably gonna Casper. All right, here we go. Thank you. Yes. Casper? What do you mean? Yeah, it's like ghosting, but friendlier. You are an idiot. You're not even good looking enough to get away with this crap. I mean, I'm no Ray Romano, but I'm not an idiot. The most attractive guy you can think of is Ray Romano. Uh, everybody loves Raymond. If you give me Ray Romano in any uh, fuck, marry, kill situation, I'm killing Ray Romano every time. All right. Uh, are you guys playing KFM? Huh? What? Kill, fuck, marry. I think you mean fuck, marry, kill. Oh. I, I always said kill, fuck, marry. I mean. Probably because I like to kill someone before I fuck them, right? <laughs> well. Okay, come on, give me one. Uh, okay, um, let's do uh, Captain Crunch, the Kool-Aid Man, and Jesus Christ, our hey, Savior. Hey, hey, leave Jesus out of this. All right, give her somebody else. No, 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 I can work with that. I would, ah, okay. Um, I would marry Captain Crunch, because oh, I love a man in uniform. I would fuck the Kool-Aid Man, because Oh, yeah. And I'd kill Jesus. And he'll rise again, right? Oh, I'll go grab you another mimosa. I think I love her. I'm sure you do. Seriously, dude. She gets it. Like, she gets comedy. Girls that look like that don't usually get it. What the hell is that supposed to mean? No, what I'm saying is she doesn't take herself too seriously. Like. Like, she understands comedy. Did you hear that line about her killing someone before she fucks them? That's comedy gold. I think she's my white elephant. I probably wouldn't lead off with white elephants. Oh, speaking of elephants, I have some ideas I want to run by you. I do not want to. Giddy up. What? It's like Uber, but horses. No. Okay, let's uh, keep the ball rolling. All right, we delivery service name ideas. We have uh, Smell This. Vapes on a plane? No. Best one, door hash. You like? No. Okay. Uh, then maybe I can try another pop-up? Ooh. I don't know if that's a good idea. All right, okay. All right, this is the one. All right, you know how there's Christmas in July? Well, this is Halloween in March. So it's a pop-up that looks like fall time, 
But now. That makes zero sense. Think about it. The girls would love it. They could take all their fall photos before everyone else. There could be pumpkins, hay bales. Daddy can hand out free candy. Your dad hates you. No, silly. I'm daddy. You, you'd be a terrible father. Can I be honest with you? I've got this gut feeling that I got a kid out there somewhere. You ever have that feeling? Yes, Chase. I have a daughter. Oh. No. Yeah. The old ball and chain. Yeah, why is there an eggplant emoji next to your mom's name? She makes a mean eggplant parm. It's so inappropriate. Hello? Mom. Mom. Here you go. Uh, your food is about to come out. Are you sure he doesn't want cheese? He probably does. Uh, he's just so committed to the bit now, so you can just bring the toast. <laughs> okay. You gotta admire someone who's committed to the bit, right? Yeah, all right. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. I, I love you. I love you. Yes. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna... Mom, I'm at it. Mm. I love you to the moon and back. Yes, I do. I love to the moon and back. How about you? I love you in the morning. Love you at night. I love you even when we fight. Yes. All right. Love you. Bye. You good? Yeah. I just got to call my grandpa. It's his birthday. Oof. Oh, I got to poop. Why are you announcing it? Just go. Uh, I didn't bring my shoes. What, are you not gonna go? No, 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 I've trained my butt. You know how people can like hold their breath for a long time underwater? It's like that. Can, can you just forget about the damn shit shoes, man? It, stop it. It works for me. And if more people had the conversation, it would be a common thing. All right, one cinnamon roll sans icing and one grilled cheese with no cheese. So it's, it's just toast. Thanks. Hey, can I ask you a question? No. Eh? Do you get poo shy? Uh, I'm sorry? I hate you. So when I was in middle school, I had some tummy issues. Please don't. And long story short, I took a smelly poo and people saw my cotton burst under the stalls. Kids suck, so they made fun of me for it. But I figured if they hadn't seen my shoes, they wouldn't have known it was me. So I started packing an extra pair of shoes. So I would change in to the shoes before I did my business, and then when the deed was done, I would change back into the other shoes. Therefore, nobody knew it was me because boom, shit shoes. Wow. I think that's brilliant. What? I love you, or uh, thank you. I love to thank you. You should trademark that shit. <laughs> Literally. Literally. <laughs> oh, well, cause because there is, there is shit shoes. Yeah, and she said, uh, trademark that shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> he, he doesn't get it. No, I get it. That was great as shit. Man, I'm telling you, this cinnamon roll is not that bad. If you put like, you know, if you use a knife, obviously you cut it and put it into pieces and blah. And blah 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 Alexi, what are you doing Friday? Oh, I close Friday. <laughs> Alexi, what are you doing Saturday? Um, I'm off Saturday. Uh, do you like pop-ups? Chase, I know. I fucking love pop-ups. 
Uh, well, I know this fun one that's happening in the park on Saturday. It's uh, called uh, Halloween in March. You can take all your fall pics before everyone else. Like, like Christmas in July? Oh, that's super weird. Yeah, I'm in. Perfect. Oh, uh, can I grab a side of cheese? How are you gonna put a pop up together by Saturday, man? This ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> All right. Talk to daddy. Why do you think you're depressed? Oh, so you heard me. Dude, I love you. I wouldn't ignore something like that. <sighs> and that's leaving me. Shit. Yeah. What happened? I know she didn't cheat on you because believe me, I have tried. <laughs> no. Yeah. With the podiatrist. Your kid's doctor? Jesus. Oh, no, no, that's a pediatrician. My foot doctor, man. Oh. Yeah. Fuck. I'm sorry, bud. Yeah. It's been hard. I bet. But, you know, I'm, I'm staying in a hotel for a couple weeks. I am working on getting my own place so Sarah can come and visit me on the weekends. And I'm going to therapy. I'm going to therapy because I, I want to try to deal with this and hopefully I can cope with Is all Is Natalie flat-footed? What? Are you positive she's not having sex with the foot doctor to get free orthotics? All right, here you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Alexa. Uh, Alexi. I thought I said that. Uh, do you have any cute single friends for my cute single friend to bring on Saturday? That would be fun. Let me think of someone. Hey, can we just get the check, please? Yeah, sure. Chase, no, wait, come on. It is way too soon for that. Too soon is having a dude shove his feet in your mouth while you're still married. What she did was too soon. Just because he's a foot doctor doesn't mean he has a foot fetish. Yeah, sure. All I'm saying is, sitting home, feeling sad, thinking about her, her toes going in his holes won't help anything. All right, getting a little booty after, it's completely normal. It's like Gam Gam always used to say. Best way to get over someone is to get under someone. <laughs> You're right. That's why dad is here, huh? <sighs> Daddy provides. I hate you. I really hate you. Oof, you are downing these bad boys. <laughs> um, and I just texted a friend of mine. She just joined my book club. She's super cute and she's free Saturday. Perfect. Perfect. And I'll be right back to you. I guarantee it's cheaper than therapy. Christ. And I help more. Mm. Not too shabby, huh? You've definitely outdone yourself. I told you this ain't my first rodeo. Hey, come on, man. Look alive, this is gonna be fun. I don't know, man, I'm not feeling this. I feel like I'm cheating. Daniel, she actually cheated on you. I know, but you know I have a guilty conscience. I can't even text LOL without actually laughing out loud. I can't lie. That's weird and sad. I know. Look, you're not gonna boink her in the park, all right? There's no pressure. Just have fun and forget about Natalie, all right? This is to help you move on and, and stop thinking for a little bit. Hey, what's up? Okay. You're kidding me. Holy shit. What are the odds? Hi, Daddy. Real nice. You brought our daughter on a blind date? Don't do that. 
The sitter canceled and I had no choice. You had no choice? I, you didn't have to get a sitter. I could have watched her. You know that. We have to wait for the custody stuff to work itself out. I would have preferred to watch her. I, I don't even want to be here. This is Chase's dumb idea. She seems to be having fun. Yeah. That's just because she's with someone who's on the same reading level as her. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to fight you on the custody stuff. I want you to spend as much time with her as possible. You're a great dad. Just find an apartment, and I'll make sure you get partial custody. Thanks, Nat. And I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? You have nothing to be sorry for. I'm seeing a therapist. Good for you. <laughs> I like seeing a therapist. You know, I'm just, I just talked to her on Monday. Yeah. Why don't you take Sarah for the rest of the day? I have some errands I gotta run, anyways. Just have her home by nine. It's taco night. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. You can do this. Remember Lamaze. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hush, Uncle Chase! Hush! It's crashing! It's crashing! It's a boy! All right, honey. I'm going to leave you with Daddy today. Okay? Be good. Can I have dinner with Daddy and Uncle Chase? I thought we were doing taco night. What's your offer? Uh, uh well, um, well, maybe we could go get burgers, right? And, and we could get pistachio ice cream. Mom, tacos sound really good, but since we have the stuff at home already, we can make them tomorrow. So, for those reasons, I'm out. Dad, you got yourself a deal. Okay, I am never letting you watch Shark Tank with me ever again. Mm. Have her home before dinner, please. Hey, my count off is 10. She'll be home by nine. <laughs> Sarah, do you want to have a photo shoot? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Get on your tiptoes. I shouldn't have come here. I knew this was a stupid Something's idea. Something's afoot! Damn it! Oh. oh, I was trying to think of a foot pun to say to Natalie, but she laughed before I could say it. You owe me for this. Oh, come on, I didn't know. But fine, I owe you. Good, because I need to stay at your place for a couple days. Just until I can find my own place. I, I can't afford to stay at the hotel anymore. You've seen my place, it's not that big. Trust me, you weren't my first option. Hey Daniel, can you take a picture of me and Chase with uh, whatever that's supposed to be? Sure. All right. Everybody say cheese. 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 You having fun? I am. This is cute. You're cute. Yeah? Like, how cute? I mean, you're no Ray Romano. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> There's just something about morning sex. Yeah. The morning breath. Gives a sense of dirtiness. <laughs> it's like doing it after going to the gym. <laughs> Except your mouth. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of disappointed. What? Why? I know I'm not that limber, but I can stretch I kept waiting for you to say, Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll give you oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.